Hi, come on in. I'm John Graff. We are at 65 East Goethe. This is Masonette 102. one of 18 units, four of which are masonettes like this, but not, because these were all purchased as raw space when this development started. So every owner here has hired their own designer, own architect to finish the interior and create the interior any way they want. So right when you walk in, there's this grand foyer. We have our kitchen right in front of you, dining room right over here, living space right over here. You have an understated chandelier right when you walk in, you have these hidden doors, which I absolutely love. If you've ever seen photos of the White House, this is what they have there. So you can come and go from different entrances. You have another one right here on this side. But if you just walk into the space, you barely even notice they're here. Let's throw it in the kitchen first. As you walk in, you'll notice you didn't see the stairway either. So it leads right into the kitchen. This is such an open space. I feel like I'm in the suburbs. You forget that you're in the city for a little while. The sun just came back out shining, which is really nice. You have a teak island. This has to be, you know, about 10 feet. Adam, I'm going to use you. You go over there. 11 feet on this island. So teak here, and then this is lava stone. This is a La Cornu stove. If you've ever seen one of these, this is one of the most impressive ranges you'll ever see. Matching hood to go along. I love how they did the backsplash all the way around and it wraps this entire space. Blended in sub-zeros. This is more of the beverage fridge. And then you have separate freezers right below, matching on each side to completely finish off the space. Nickel sink. Now this is an above mount, but this is a whole other caliber of sink. Just look at this. You can see the sheen on it. You can see the patina. You can see the age and the actual life of using something like this. This is, you don't want this to look brand new. You want the years showing on this. Utility sink right over here. Same nickel, instant hot and cold water. Miele coffee right there. You'll notice all of the display cabinets above as well, under cabinet, cabinet lighting throughout. You have a hidden microwave right here. Blended in Miele dishwasher on this side, and then even another one right here. You'll never run short of space on where you're gonna do your dishes. So you're sitting in this room, you have this great space out here, and we're gonna show this to you later. But look at this. I can't wait to go and take a look at that now that it's dry and sunny. You have a really nice family room here. All these custom built-ins all the way throughout, and just look at this. I mean, this is, all these floors are hand-scraped walnut. I love how they did the six panel in differing designs. So it really makes the space look large, unique. There is so much powering this house that you need a closet like this just to handle it all. I mean, this is your media system. There are boxes for every room. And then this is part of one larger building, as I mentioned. So you have an elevator, you have door staff, and you have an access door right here. So this is one of them. So this leads right out to the hallway and common areas. Look at these beams. This is solid wood all the way through. Now we're going to the bar area right here. What I really like about this is you have a temperature controlled wine storage area right here. You have the same nickel bar and look how the sink goes right to it. So it's just, it's not just the top, it's the sink going all the way through. Refrigerator here, freezer drawer here, when you're designing a home, it takes a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge to put something like this together. Just look at the ceiling. Our ceiling height everywhere is basically 10-9, so really good space. You have a pocket door right there too. So what I noticed about this property is if you want to close rooms off, it's very easy to do so. Then you have the study on this side. So this is completely wrapped in mahogany. You'll notice the multi-layered trim up top. You have the art lights all the way throughout, just everything you put on the shelves. This fireplace mantle is absolutely beautiful. Very rich marble going all the way through and it sinks in. 
So you don't have tile protruding into your room. You have that space inside the fireplace. It's the little small details like that that you find throughout the home. You have your panel right here. This controls everything you need it to. So check this out. As I was saying about closing off spaces, you can completely close that door. Now go on the other side and take a look how it looks. So this blends in completely. If you're entertaining, you can have friends and guests over here, over there. If you close this door, I don't even think anyone would know you were here. They would just think this is part of the house. That's just a wall. This leads us right to the powder room. There's an antique vanity here. You can see it all. This makes me nervous just around the water. Like this is such a beautiful piece. It fits so well in this space, but man, I don't want to wash my hands here, but I love seeing it. Every house isn't equipped until it has a Costco room. Look at this. This could be your bunker. And this has everything you need right here. Now this leads to the living room. We have another fireplace on this side. What I like about this is they didn't do a pass-through fireplace. That's more of a modern look and feel. They actually just have two completely separate fireplaces sharing a chimney. And you'll notice there's no protrusion. This isn't coming into the room defining your space. This is built right. The coffered ceilings throughout give it such an elegant look and feeling. You can see it in every single room and they're even curving up and in. This isn't a simple coffered ceiling. This has details on the trim leading up. This was no small feat to accomplish this. Back through the foyer, we lead right to the dining room. The hand scraped walnut floors continue through here. And then you have a Holly Hunt chandelier right here. That whole kitchen was designed by DiGiulio, by the way. In this room, I like how they did the separation with these two beams. So they discontinued the coffer ceilings, made this its own space to give it its own look and feel, its own design. These pillars offer a nice, subtle look. This home is so traditional. You totally forget you're in Chicago. You think you're in the suburbs and you see this ornateness in every single room because every room has its own feeling. There's no room that looks like the other. There might be elements that are similar, like the floors, but throughout it all looks different. Let's head on upstairs. Now, as we're walking up, you have to notice and realize you have these stair lights leading you up all the way. Just imagine it's nighttime, it's dark. You don't want to turn on all the lights because you don't want to flash yourself, but this is going to lead your path right where you're going. What a great landing. Art wall over here piece of furniture right over there. We have the master right in this direction. Great light fixtures setting it off on both sides. And I love this trim. They have the arc in the ceiling, but then they have the trim protruding out. So you don't even know where that ceiling really begins and ends. As you come in here, I love a room. Come on, come on. I love a room that has an entry. So you have a linen closet right behind the door here. Very well hidden. And it leads us to the whole room. This is an enormous master. I want to guess this is about 20 feet, 25 maybe. Let's see, 21.9. We have 21.9 from space to space and then 15. So this is the size of a master bedroom in the suburbs. I mean, if you built a custom home in any burb, your master is going to be at least this size. I love how they have a her side and a his side. And one thing we noticed while we were walking through here is there's no registers. So there's no heating ducts. Well, there are ducts, but they're behind the walls, but there's no vent covers. So what we think, we're not certain about this, but we think the cold and hot air is coming through these cutouts right in the trim here. How cool is that? I've never seen that before. Another pocket door here that could easily be that's so cool. Yeah. So to operate this door, typically you're trying to pull this out. And I thought this might've been the locket, but no, pushes out. And then you have a lock on this side if you wanna close it off altogether. This owner's closet is absolutely beautiful. It will make you envious. All these come out. I love the antique mirror behind it. You definitely get your shoe fetish on here. You can just, when I open this, 
you can smell the leather like you're in a leather store. I mean, this it's, it's quite unbelievable. And then, yeah, handbag, jealousy, envy happening right here. My wife would love this closet. And then this is what is called the Oprah closet. Look how big this is. One of my favorite features, the lights. Inside, coming down right in your clothes, illuminating everything. You have a great mirror right here to display yourself, but this has it all. I mean, this looks like we're shopping at Ralph Lauren and this is the space, but no, this is someone's closet. This is what they have. It's beautiful. I forgot something too. Every surface, every floor in this entire unit is heated. I was reminded when I walked into the master bath just now. Everywhere, downstairs, right beneath us, there's several zones just for that heating. I love Onyx. I've definitely seen it overdone, but not here. This is such a nice piece. This flows so well in the room. And you'll notice there's no double sink because there's a man's bathroom right over there. But look how elegant, look how nice this looks. I wouldn't be surprised if these are all waterworks fixtures. This is just looks like original copper. You can even see the patina right here. And this is, it's, it's so ornate. Onyx deck on the top of this tub. Great shower niche here. Same style fixtures. What I really like, this is a very important part to notice. You test your water before you get in. So it's all on this side. And then you can get into the tub. You don't have to splash yourself. You don't have to go over here or do this. No. Everything happens right here, keeping you dry, making sure you don't burn yourself. Very sensible. Now we are overlooking an alley right here, but that space, we're gonna show you that, that comes with the unit. That's part of this. Great makeup station right here. I love the molding in here as well. Very feminine light fixture and private commode. So now we're leading to the man's bathroom. This is all one piece of travertine cut into different sections, but this is all from the same grains. You can see it carry all the way through you have this travertine top, which is absolutely beautiful. Very smooth. Waterworks fixtures right here. And then you have the built-in medicine cabinet right behind. Of course, there's an outlet. And then the shower here. Well, I really wish we could have just tested this shower out. Have you ever seen that Kohler commercial where the guy is flooded with water and he tests it out and that family's there? <laughs> That should do it. Enjoy your new shower. Anyway, that's what I wanted to do here. But look at this. So you both can shower here. There's a fog proof mirror right here. And you can't feel this, but this mirror is hot. That's how I know it's fog proof. So this is always being heated to make sure it never fogs up. Hot body sprays, overheads right here, steam right there, frosted glass right here for privacy. Really a great look. And what this does, this panel right here, yeah, this panel right here keeps the symmetry of the room because you have this water closet, this commode, this is its own space, and they have this door. So it looks so smooth going in. This is really done well. You have speakers throughout this entire home so you can always listen to your tunes wherever you are. Now, on this side of the house, we're looking right out on Stone Street and Stone is about half a block in from Lakeshore Drive. So this is even closer than Astor to Lakeshore Drive in case you were wondering. Very exclusive private street. This is the man's closet. This guy has kicks for days. You didn't see that. T-shirts, and he has the same exact thing. The light illuminating down on your clothes. I love this drop station. This is where you put your phone. You don't bring your phone to the bedroom. You leave it in here overnight, pick it up in the morning so you're not tempted to grab it and check your new feed. And then when the day's over and you're ready just to relax and the kids are downstairs, they're doing their own thing. You sit and you hang out here in your study off your bedroom, looking at all these books, looking at the tree lined street, thinking of the space you have and how you use it. This is very impressive. 
not just from an architectural and design standpoint, but what you have to do to acquire a space like this. These people work hard and they've spent it, they've designed it. Once you build that for yourself, you wanna show it. And this is the one way to exemplify that. You really get to put all your hard work into a home, into a project, something that shows who you are, what you're all about. And this house says a lot of things. So we just did one big view. We have this separate door here too. So if someone was coming here, you can just close this door and now you can't come in. I love how they have the skeleton keyhole as well. And then another built-in aspect of the home is the laundry room right here. This tile is so simple, but I love it. It is just the right color, just the right texture. It's even elevated a little bit. It's a little higher than your average tile. Fantastic laundry center. Bins right here for all your clothes. Place right here to hang things up and hide them. Even more storage back here as if you needed it. And look, this is your luggage room. So keep all your stuff here. When you're ready to head out of town, just come right here and grab it. They even use architectural tiles for the ceiling tiles here. So this is the son's room, really nice space. He's looking back out to the courtyard, to your private space and to the common space for the building. He has a fantastic closet too. This closet is really big. Come in here and take a look. It's a New York bedroom for sure. I'm running out of adjectives from this home. It is so nice, it's so opulent, it's so ornate, it's so luxurious. I mean, this home says it all. And don't forget, we're attached to a high rise right now. So you get all the benefits of the service, the doormen, the garage staff, the all the staff of the building, everything that comes with it. And then check out this bathroom. Huge deck, tons of space. Single panel over here on a hinge. Very classic look. And this could be a man's room or a girl's room. It's a little masculine, but still a great look. Nice travertine on the back there as well. And you can see the blended in vents right here too. You typically see this in high rises. You don't see it in single family homes. So it'd be unfair if the parents just got their own type of study chill room. So of course the son got one too. Let's check that out. So the son gets this space. This is his office, his work area. Tons of blended in storage here. And then this leads out to the building. So this is the hallway that one of these 18 units share. And then you have another bath right off here. They chose hexagon tiles for the floor. And they chose this fatter tile right here, which I really like. All of this stuff, I mean, it all looks like Ansax tile. I'm not sure where it's from, but very high end. And then great French drain for the shower here. Shower niche, very straightforward. Let's go take a look at the outdoor space. We're on the outdoor space. This is some of the best outdoor space I've ever seen in the Gold Coast. This is 1,300 square feet of private space for you. You are in a fishbowl a little bit, sure, but everyone's just looking down wondering, I wish I had that. Seating over there, eating over here, wine over there, and this looks like it's it, right? This looks like it's everything. Nope. You have your own deck, a little more private, a little more secluded, and you could easily create more privacy here if you wanted to. I think they've chose to leave this open. You can see they're doing construction right over here. If you live here, you don't have to worry about watering any of these plants. They come with an installed irrigation system. So all you do is set it on the timer, and then you can see this. These are all watering, all the plants throughout. So you can set it and forget it. Don't worry about your plants going to die. It's a Japanese maple right over here. So it's my understanding that this is common space for the whole building. And if that's the case, you have more common space for your units. You have more private space for your unit than this entire 18 unit building has for just them. It's pretty, pretty spectacular. Let's check out uh, the building, the lobby, all that kind of stuff. We're 
We're at 65 East Goethe. We're in Masonette 102. There's only four of these. I've never seen a building like this in Chicago anywhere. This is larger than a single family home. We're over 5,800 square feet. We're connected to a high rise with some of the best service and amenities you can get. I wanna see you here. I know you wanna buy this. The finishes are to die for. They're absolutely spectacular. Come take a look, give me a call. Let me show it to you. See ya.